My royal rogues, this video is gonna have a serious tone or a more serious tone than usual because I want to talk about something that bothers me a lot regarding this situation with Lady Susan Hussey and Sister Space or whatever this woman is called. And the fact is that Buckingham Palace has made a big mistake with the handling of the situation, especially with the fact that they not only had invited Ngozi Fulani or Marlene or I don't know what is her real name to Buckingham Palace so Lady Susan Hussey could apologize to her and let's read the sad words from Buckingham Palace statement together with Ngozi Fulani. A statement from Buckingham Palace and Ngozi Fulani, founder of Sister Space. A meeting took place this morning, 16 December, at Buckingham Palace between Ms. Ngozi Fulani, founder of Sister Space, and Lady Susan Hussey to address the incident that took place at a palace reception last month. At this meeting, filled with warmth and understanding, Lady Susan offered her sincere apologies for the comments that were made and the distress they caused to Ms. Fulani. You remember that all that she did was try to ask her, okay, where are you from? Since you are in that, well, Wakanda forever, full attire, it's uh, implied that you want people to, hey, know more about your heritage. That's normal. That's what everybody in, in the internet with a sane mentality, with a healthy mind could understand. And anyone with half a brain knew instantly that this Fulani had all the intentions of doing whatever she wanted to do this. Race baiting. Lady Susan has pledged to deepen her awareness of the sensitivities involved and is grateful for the opportunity to learn more about the issues in this area. How, how could they issue something like this when everybody knows what really happened? Miss Fulani, who has unfairly received the most appalling torrent of abuse on social media and elsewhere, has accepted this apology and appreciates that no malice was intended. I really don't want to, but I'm gonna read until the end. The royal households will continue their focus on inclusion and diversity with an enhanced program of work which will extend knowledge and training programs, examining what can be learned from sister space and ensuring this reach all members of their communities. Both Miss Fulani and Lady Susan ask now that they be left in peace to rebuild their lives in the wake of an immensely distressing period for them both. They hope that their example shows a path to resolution can be found with kindness, and this word is going to be important later on, cooperation and the condemnation of discrimination wherever it takes root. It is the wish of both parties that, at the end of the blah blah blah, uh, United Nations activism against gender-based violence, attention can now return to the important work of Sister Space in supporting women affected by domestic abuse. Their Majesties, the King and the Queen Consort and other members of the royal family have been kept fully informed and are pleased that both parties have reached this welcome outcome. Now I'm gonna repeat my previous statement and the title of this video. Buckingham Palace has made a big mistake. And let's go through some points so I can better illustrate this. Some, some people have claimed that, well, Lady Susan Hussey was not fired, was not let go. She quit man, because of this situation, because uh, you would not think that after serving uh, Buckingham Palace for 60 years, it will be such a coincidence that right after this event, well, she decided to quit and it is not related. It's of course related to this incident and so I'm claiming that well she has worked for 60 years she should she should should is the word they use she should enjoy her retirement now well I'm just gonna ask a question about this do you think that Lady Susan Hussey at 83 years old and after 60 years serving Buckingham Palace had a reason to be of service of keeping her job there would you think that it was purposeful for her? That it was fulfilling for her life? 
You can imagine that it must be the reason, right? But now that life fulfillment, that job that was her purpose in life is gone. And because of an event where Buckingham Palace did nothing to stop her. And if you still think that the palace has no responsibility in this or they acted nicely, I have two more questions for you. The first one is, has anyone apologized to Lady Susan Hussey yet? Anybody? In Gossip Fulani? No, it was Lady Susan Hussey who had to apologize for nothing because she did nothing. Has Buckingham Palace apologized to Lady Susan Hussey? Not that I know. If I'm wrong, please correct me. And the second question is, has Lady Susan Hussey been reinstated at her job, at her role, at her position of 60 years? Again, not that I know. Now, before you jump to the comments, because I want you to jump to the comments, I want you to engage in this conversation because I want to know what do you think. I want to give some sort of an analogy to even better illustrate this and try to put you in the hot seat so you can really see what this is about. Imagine that you're a member of a very select club. And, well, every member in that club serves the club, and there are leaders in that club, and you are one of the longest standing members of that club. And one day, a stranger, an outsider, just comes at a meeting and claims that you treated them bad, that you were racist to them, for example. Now imagine that you have been so invested in that club. You have given basically half your life or most of your life. Imagine that it's a long time to that club. And you say, hey, is this a, is this a matter of honor? I must quit. So my reputation or whatever happens with my reputation does not tarnish the club. But you have been with these club members with all these people and with the leaders for decades, supporting them, working for them, being there in the most intimate moments. And guess what? They are okay with that. Oh yeah, yeah, you can go. Yes, you, you wanna quit? Yeah, go ahead. Won't you feel a bit bad about that? Don't you think that the members of a real loyal club which think that they have to protect themselves and the leaders who supposedly value your work and your duty and your decades of service are you going to, well, wait a minute, don't go yet. We have, to, we have to really investigate what happened here because if they just let you go, they are implicitly believing the words of an outsider before your words one of the longest standing members of this club. Now, guaranteed, you are not forced to stay in the club. You can still quit, but you can imagine that this club is going to see if this person quits, uh, it's not going to look good because it's, uh, we know that nothing happened. We trust our one of our most beloved members. Uh, and this member is the godmother of one of our, well, leaders too. So if we let this person go, it's gonna look very bad on ourselves. Even from that perspective, even from an egoistical perspective, it's bad. Now imagine that weeks later, they invite you and this person to the club for a meeting, so you have to apologize to them and you have to pledge understanding and learning and everything. And well, your job, your position is still vague. How would you feel? This is my legit question. It is to my knowledge that Lady Susan Hussey was invited to the Christmas special. She did not go. 
she hasn't been able to leave her home. She is feeling very bad about all this and understandably. She met a truly vile person. She had to deal with all this shitstorm and she got zero support from the organization that, well, it, this would have been a great opportunity to disprove everything that Megan has said about the palace. To disprove what people say about mental health inside the institution, the firm. To prove that you actually care for your club, for your tribe. Now that's when we go back to that word, kindness. Because that word is truly dangerous. Because it seems that the king and the queen believe that kindness is the solution to everything. That's wrong. That's fundamentally wrong. There are people in this world that if you turn the other chick, they're going to slap you twice. And this is a big mistake for another even wars and more pressing reason. This is a message for all the woke mob out there. This is a message that if something as small as a conversation like this steers any kind of conflict on the internet, we are going to overreact throwing any of our, our courtiers under the bus. Because if we threw Lady Sass and Hussey under the bus, then nobody is safe. Then imagine the message that they are sending the woke mob. People are saying, but at least this help uh, uncover Sister Space grief with their charities. Okay, but what if, is, is that your silver lining? You have to look a bit further than that. You are sending a message to the woke mob that... They will bend over that Buckingham Palace, with, will effectively bend over backwards to appease whatever petty conflict arises. But at the same time, there's a message within the walls of Buckingham Palace. We don't care how long have you been here. If there is the slightest rift or noise on social media about the woke mob turning on you, you're out. Or, let me correct myself. You can go. We are not going to stop you. Imagine the effect it has on loyalty. Imagine after they buried the investigation of bullying on Meghan Markle. This kindness is the same approach that many people think will work with a toxic personality. Because I can tell you, like, they are not gonna listen to me. Buckingham Palace is not gonna listen to the royal rogue. Please. <laughs> I know, I know who I am. And I know my, my reach. And I know that a lot of you are disagreeing with me on this one. I respect that. But I don't make the rules of public relations. Many of you are saying that Buckingham Palace is playing chess. I disagree. I think they are bending over, bowing down to the woke mob. And that is a door that they are opening that they will not be able to close again. So that kindness is the same approach that people, when they have been abused by narcissists, by toxic personalities, they think that that's going to work to stop the abuser, to stop the manipulator. You're going to appeal to their humanity. If they had humanity, they will not be toxic in the first place. Don't you think? Does that make sense? Is that kindness that guarantees, guarantees that the Harkles are going to be invited to the coronation? Guaranteed. They're going to be invited to the coronation and they're going to steal the spotlight once again. You don't like my words? That's fine. But that's the facts. 
and you can save this video. I already tweeted that, save this tweet, save this video, because that's what's gonna happen. In the name of kindness. I can't imagine William and Catherine hanging out next to Harry and Meghan at that moment. And on a final note, I think it's important to um, remember this clue. Red flag, thanks to, according to Tass, Lady Susan Hussey offered to help Meghan adjust to royal life. Meghan said no. Lady Susan was reported in Tom Bauer's book, Revenge, to have said Harry and Meghan's marriage will end in tears. Makes me wonder if she had a target on her back after that came out. Food for thought. My royal rogues. Again, I would love to know what you think about this in the comments. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the royal rogue. And remember, much love and bliss.